Possum Patty from Pennsylvania here with an art journal flip. This is number nine in my Strathmore 500 series mixed media journals. I journaled in this journal from around October 2016 to June 2017. On the first page, of course it's upside down, I was inspired by Joanne Sharp to do some fabric work. So I sketched some turkey oak leaves on a piece of cotton muslin, colored it with some fabric paint. I did some free motion sewing on my sewing machine and some hand embroidery. And then I added a little bit of sparkle. Inspire, and then I, it's quilted, there's a little batting underneath and I pasted it into my journal. And this is a turkey oak. Um, the leaves were obtained at the Charles Evans Cemetery in Reading, Pennsylvania. And here's a turkey oak acorn. The next two pages I put black gesso down. And this page was going to be a portrait, but I never finished it. This is Danny Gregory of Sketchbook School. On this page I did a bowl of tangerines with gouache during breakfast. This is one of my art and oatmeal pages. On this double spread we have a possum patty character. I like the way she bends around the page and she's listening to this rock. I like the lichen that's on the rock. That's my favorite part. Every rock has a story to tell. Listen carefully. A lot of work in this journal was inspired by the artist Klimp, K-L-I-M-T, especially these designs. This page is the hunter's moon and fog in the valley during sunrise October 17th. Happy harvest from the knucklehead. This is a knucklehead pumpkin. I love the bright oranges on this page. This was a lot of fun to do. This is a spread that I really enjoyed. I went to visit the sacred oak tree in Ole, Pennsylvania, and I picked these leaves up off the ground. So yes, these are real leaves that I collaged onto the page, and I've painted over them with some acrylic paint. I drew the tree. The face is watercolor. I added acrylic leaves on the background. And this is another Klimp inspired design with some inks, black ink, white ink, and some more acrylic paint. And on the tree I've written some notes about the sacred oak in the Oli. Another Possum Patty page, again Klimp inspired with the long collage gown. And on this day in October there were two unusual sightings in the sky. One was iridescent clouds in which you actually saw a sparkly rainbow inside of a cloud. And the other one is a sun dog. I got this saying, what's on my mind, from Facebook. Because when you first log in and they want you to make a post, it says, what's on your mind? So I started journaling what was on my mind. And this day, it was a whole swarm of ladybugs. It was a very warm Sunday and I think they were trying to get into the barn to spend the winter. So I looked up what a swarm of ladybugs was called and I found that it is called a loveliness. So I had this loveliness of ladybird beetles going into my barn. While I was out in the field filling up the horse trough, a buck came by. He wasn't particularly afraid of me. He kind of stopped and looked around. So I thought I'd remember that by sketching him. Love my quirky bird. This was inspired by uh, Tamara Laporte. And down at the corner from my house I saw a murder of crows. That's what you call a flock of crows. A murder of crows. And I was inspired to write this poem. Concerning a murder of crows, I inquired of the quirky bird, Why are they here? What have you heard? She replied, Well, my dear, it is known that from time to time they return to the scene of the crime. 
Every fall we get a lot of deer in our yard. Um, on this day in November, there were more than a dozen deer in the yard. They like to jump over the fence around the horse pasture, even though we hang up these silver pie plates to scare them away. And unfortunately, a lot of times they knock the wire down and my husband has to go out and put the wire back up. Two winter pages. This is my dancing rabbit who's dancing in the cold light of the moon. This is done in acrylics. In the east, the cold light of the ice moon shone through the ghost trees onto the dancing rabbit. Another December page was this cardinal, which I did use for my Christmas cards. This is an acrylic. This page was inspired by Matisse. Uh, I love the shapes that Matisse has in his paintings and the turkey oak leaves reminded me of these Matisse shapes. So following his methods, I painted some cardstock pages and cut out the shapes and collaged them onto the page. I added some of the acorns. And then inspired by his figures, I turned my squirrel into a Matisse style figure. And in French, it says the squirrel up in the oak tree. This page has a number of different media on it. Started with spray inks, and then it has acrylics, and I used a stick to kind of quickly draw the leaves, a palette knife to make the flowers, a little sponging to do the little white flowers in between. It was a lot of energy, and I really enjoyed doing this mixed media page. After reading the book, The Hidden Life of Trees, I was inspired to do this page. This is a Christmas card that I pasted onto the page and then painted these doors. And because the book is The Hidden Life of Trees, the tree is hidden behind the doors. And when you open it up, you can see the mother tree. And at her roots, there are the tiny tree saplings. And these saplings are being fed, nourished by the mother tree. It was a lot of fun drawing all these branches on this giant tree, making it look a little three-dimensional. I sketch with my friend Kay. I go to visit her. Uh, we usually sit in her kitchen and do some art. She had this beautiful calla lily, so I sketched the calla lily and I did it in oil pastel. This page was another page inspired by a book. Uh, we're reading about Mira Lloyd Dock. She was the first woman appointed to Pennsylvania government. And she spent 12 years traveling around the state of Pennsylvania working for state forest preservation. These shapes were made by dipping paper into shaving cream in which I had globbed ink and then you take a stick and you swirl it around and you place the paper on top of the shaving cream and pull it off. It makes these wonderful swirly designs. I collaged them onto the page and scraped some paint down because it was a very rainy day in February. On this page, I dropped the ink onto the paper and blew it with a straw. I doodled some flowers on the top, splashed in some more ink. It says, today is January 26, 2017. It's very windy outside. There is no snow on the ground. I doodled some flowers. And that is all. Doing some art with Kay in her kitchen. She had a stone that actually looked like it had a landscape on it. I was inspired by that landscape to paint these hills and this one windswept tree. And I put a saying here from Old Possum Woman. The temporal aspect of the standing people is beyond human understanding. That's because time passes so differently for trees, and standing people is a native term for trees. So in our short lives, we can't understand the life cycle of a tree that takes a thousand years. 
This page was inspired by my tea bag. It says, this life is a gift. The little tag that comes on the tea bag. Again, I used some of that paper that I had printed with the shaving cream and the ink. I cut out some circles and, and some leaves and collaged them on. I wrote, this life is a gift. So is glitter and glaze pens. So I finished off the page with glaze, black glaze pens by Sakura and some glitter. You can see how a lot of glitter on this page. Just doing a leaf study, sitting in the kitchen doing some leaf studies. I love the colors on these leaves. This page was done with a palette knife using the leftover paint from this page. I had a lot of paint left on the palette when I finished this page. So I just picked it up with a palette knife and put it down on this page and turned it into a portrait. I was looking at a book by Steinlin. He had a lot of sketches of cats. So I tried my hand at sketching some of the cats. I love the way his sketches show action and movement or complete calmness. Nature journaling at Noldy Forest Nature Center. This was for Groundhog Day, of course. Here's my little portrait of a groundhog and my sketch of a grand groundhog skull. Another name for a groundhog is the whistle pig. I thought that was cute, the whistle pig. This was nature journaling at the North Museum in Lancaster. And we were talking about uh, host plants for different butterflies. So I drew as many butterflies as I could fit on the page. And one little caterpillar. And of course I put not to scale because some of these butterflies are very big and some are tiny. This was another shaving cream page. Uh, this one came out looking like a tree. So after it dried, I took a black pen and I just doodled on top of the shapes. This page was journaling at the North Museum. I was copying one of the bug specimens that they have. And the words are just um, from signs that were on the wall in the area where we were journaling. I like this one. This area lets you draw trace and color in any way you would like. Be an artist, be a scientist, or combine the two. And that's what nature journaling does. It combines the two. On this page, I did some cloud appreciation. I used a Derwent sketching pencil, a dark wash, 8B. Some of them looked to me like bits of fried dough, but it was fun doing this. Uh, this was day 26, One Drawing a Day by Veronica Lawler. On this page, I did a collage. What you did is you took a, um, a square. You did a design on the collage, on the square. And then you cut it in four pieces and mix it around. And when I put them on the page, it kind of reminded me of birds, so I painted on top some fantasy birds. Friendship is a sheltering tree. Just playing with some watercolors. Catching some trees. This page is from a portrait workshop at the Burks Art Alliance. The model that day was Wacky Patty. She came dressed up in her clown outfit. She was a lot of fun to draw. Since she was so wacky, I tried to make her look like a cartoon. Just doing some more leaf studies. These are in watercolor. Another portrait from the Burks Art Alliance Portrait Workshop. This one is with pastel pencil and some ink. On this page were just four exercises working with my friend Kay. And basically we just put down some color and then I doodled on the top of it just to loosen up exercises. Another portrait from the Brooks Art Alliance workshop. This one is in gouache. 
just a couple of spring tulips. I put down the watercolor shapes first and then I went over on top of them with the black ink. Nature journaling again at Noldy Forest. Their theme that day was spring music. And of course my fav favorite spring music is the song of the frogs. So we drew frog life cycle. This was nature journaling on Earth Day. So of course we decided to paint with Earth. So this page is actually layers of sand resin, actual mud, acrylic paint. It got very thick and then I took a stick and I drew into the mud so when it hardened I had some petroglyphs. I added some acrylic paint and some silver paint on the top and some gold glitter. Lots of texture and glitter and shine on this page for Earth Day. Nature journaling with the Girl Scouts. Some of the cherry trees coming into bloom. Trying out some Pigma brush pens. Trying to sketch a portrait of my rock. This was number one. I didn't quite like the way it came out. So I tried it again, number two. I thought this one was better than that one. But my favorite, which is on an, another page, is number three. I really like the colors, the depth, and the balance of this one the best. Also on this page, I was trying a technique where you use um, pencil first, so you have the graphite, and you put the watercolor right on top of the graphite. Also working with my friend Kay, we were looking at a book by Nikolai Vichin. And he had a lot of portraits. We did these in oil pastels. Working again with Kay in the kitchen, we did some freesia. This is in watercolor. I thought I got a little heavy and dark, too much going on in the background, so I actually painted it over again. Tried to make it a little bit more airy so the flowers would stand out. But I actually like these purple colors, but I like these leaves. Always pick out something you like in your painting, even if you don't like the whole painting. Working in my kitchen with my friend Camilla, this is a watercolor background, a couple of trees, and then we took white acrylic paint and a sponge to make it look like a spring tree in bloom, perhaps a dogwood. Nature journaling at the North Museum, another butterfly day. This is a painted lady butterfly, and what I did was painted the colors on her upper wings on one side and the colors on the other wings on the other side. So I kind of split her in half. Upper colors, under colors. There's my favorite rock again. The rhododendron are in bloom. This is in watercolor with a little ink on the top. And on this side, I have some really bright watercolor on this page. And then I doodled with black ink on top of that. Really like the way this trunk came out. Sketching in the garden, the teacup garden at Chanticleer in Pennsylvania. It's a wonderful garden with a teacup fountain in the center. Um, in the spring of 2017, they had these tulips planted. The name of the tulips is Mentor, and they're described as cup-shaped. So as I was sketching this, I got a little silly because the tulips were cup-shaped, and it was in the teacup garden. So I decided to do the page over again, and what I sketched were teacup-shaped tulips in the teacup fountain garden. This is an acrylic page. I put down some acrylic, and then you take saran wrap, and you wrinkle it up, and you stick it down on top of the acrylic. When it dries, you can pull it off. 
makes a wonderful bark-like texture. And just by doing some negative lines um, and round arc shapes, I made it look like a forest. I call this a series of hand-drawn arcs and linear marks. And that's all it was to make this fantasy forest. And on the very last page, I sketched a tulip tree blossom from a tulip tree in my yard. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.